This is the inaugural meeting of the 8th Kogi State House of Assembly. Governor Yaya Bello's letter proclaiming the 8th State of Assembly is read by the clerk of the Assembly. The vision in preparation for the holding of the first session of the House of Assembly of the state concerns immediately after his being sworn in. The lawmakers then proceed to make nominations for the position of Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the House. Mr. Aliyu Yusuf, representing Lokoja II State Constituency, emerged unopposed as the Speaker, while NMR Paul, representing Dekina Okura Constituency, emerged as the Deputy Speaker. Members, please be seated. In his inaugural speech, the Speaker promises to collaborate with other arms of government for the purpose of moving the state forward. It is not a case of force among equal. It's a case of one among equal. Be rest assured that this state assembly under my leadership will create the environment that all of us will bring our experience to bear by the special grace of God. Do solemnly swear. He then administers the oath of office to all the members of the State Assembly. Later, the state lawmakers gather at the banquet hall of the State Government House for a courtesy visit to Governor Bello. While commending the conduct of the exercise that led to the emergence of the Assembly leader, he urges them to stay loyal to the party and support the State Government. Cooperate with us at the executive level and the judiciary as well. And by the grace of God, we in the executive, we are not going to interfere in your legislative businesses. The Kogi State House of Assembly is made up of 25 members. While the All Progressives Congress is the majority in the House with 22 members, the People's Democratic Party has two seats, while the African Democratic Congress has one seat.